products and sculptures for clients worldwide have made him one of the most visible designers on the international scene. Should I stand in a different place? No? Nope. Okay. Among others, he has carried out many projects for the store of the Museum of Modern Art in New York. His work has been exhibited in the US, Germany, Belgium, Mexico, Japan, and China. He is best known for his three-dimensional letter forms for posters and calendars, which he developed later into monumental architectural forms in metal and other various materials. Today he lives and works in Los Angeles where he's concentrating on large outdoor scale, scale, large scale outdoor sculptures for parks and buildings, as well as wood sculptures for collectors. Igarashi's philosophy about his work is best summed up in these words. My approach to design has always wavered between my wish to do something useful for the society and my desire to create something beautiful with my own hands. In my opinion, there are three essential things in design, passion, challenge, and discovery. Without them, design gets boring. With them, design is enjoyable. And work which is enjoyable also results in success. Now, having read that, I can say that I was a teacher of Mr. Igarashi uh, when I was a student here in the 70s at UCLA. And uh, his influence um, was very great on me in, um, in several ways. Uh, for one thing, he really taught me um, about the importance of craft in design. Um, we did exercises which are just, uh, I think my, my, my students would all just give up. Uh, they were so difficult, uh, but they, they made us uh, really look at what we are designing very, very carefully and understand that without the craft there, the design really couldn't come through completely. Uh, and furthermore, his activities in, in many different fields influenced me and, and showed me that I could also do that and uh, made me more excited about the possibilities for design for myself. So I'm very pleased to um, welcome back our, one of UCLA's most important students and teachers, Mr. Garashi. Thank you for inviting, inviting me to the stream lecture series. And thank you for coming, you guys, in such a beautiful day outside. Uh, Cameron already read something I wrote. And I, I think which are almost everything. Um, I, I studied design in Japan. I mean, studied in the Japanese university and the graduate school at UCLA. Um, studying abroad, I found myself caught between two cultures, the East and the West. Through my work, I have actively sought to find a fine balance between the two. In that sense, my design is a fusion of Japanese spirit and Western thinking. <coughs> this evening, I'd like to talk about how to enjoy working in design, with slides of some of my work done over the past 25 years. I believe that design is a personal expression and not just a service industry serving the needs of a client. In that sense, design is style. Aiming to improve the cultural quality of society and lifestyle through design can be easily understood when we put it in specific terms. I want to improve the society in which I live and my personal lifestyle through my design. There is nothing more fun than creating the design that you need 
in your own style. Mr. Don Chadwick spoke about Einstein, but I guess he was probably talking in terms of the design process. However, design results in form, creating style. This result is an important fact that design exists as culture. Looking back, I can say that I designed for myself, and it just happened that clients liked my design. My style is to use the basic elements of form to attempt problem solving in a simple way. My design has always been my personal problem solving and not just for the client. Uh, shall we start slides? <clears throat> For example, when I was a child, iron kettle like this existed in every, fa every family. The surface is covered with countless protruding dots, creating a beautiful form. I was interested in how it was made. Later, later on, I learned about its manufacturing method, and at the same time understood the functional meaning of design, namely that the protuberance is intended to increase surface area, allowing for better radiance of heat. Protecting the iron kettle from overheating. My interest in dots has its origin here. And since then, I have produced countless work combining designs, problem solving with the beauty of the world of dots. Um, I designed this poster in 1984, before computer, Macintosh. So you can imagine how much time I needed. <laughs> I spent seven days. Um, <coughs> shopping bag for MoMA. Um, corporate mark for Carups Corporation. Uh, logo design for computer company. Uh, this was on Macintosh. Uh, sometimes dots like this can solve the problem of easier holding of pen. Uh, large scale dots project for the wall of the resort place. The photograph is under construction, construction site still. As you can see the dot, the smallest element of form, alone has endless possibilities. This is a Japanese traditional idea, which is similar to Buckminster Fuller's idea of seeking greatest effect with least energy. Next, I'd like to show you some examples of design using the line. Oh, sorry, I have more. <clears throat> uh, cast iron platter with dots. Okay, line. Everything in our daily life uh, influenced, uh, give us inspirations 
โพสทานนี่คือเบอร์รี่โอ๊ตอาร์ดีเซเว่นตีสไอดีไซน์มานิวอลีฟอร์ทคอนเสิร์ตเจอร์ริสเจอร์ริสโรมันเรตัสนิวมิวสิกมีเดียอิตซ่าคอนเสิร์ตของเจ้าคอมบิเนชันของคลาสสิกัลมิวสิกและคอนเทมเพอร์รี่มิวสิกกรีติ้งคาร์ดฟอร์มอมาโลโก้ดีไซน์ด้วยสไลน์ส์ฟอร์ดีอาร์คิเต็กชัลฟาร์มฟลาเบสบัดเบสไลทิ้งฟิกซ์เจอร์ด้วยสฮาร์โรจินไลท์ Light bulb. Proshiki with Japanese fold, uh, one cloth, one sheet of cloth <coughs> for everything, like handbag. Actually, this I designed this for the uh, six. 55, I forgot, 60 year anniversary of my school in Tokyo. So there are 60 lines, different lines, express the history of the school. Uh, now I'd like to talk about the grid in design. Not only is the grid An effective system for layout. Moreover, it is an extremely interesting system, especially in its three-dimensional form. Cordless telephone, uh, mid 80s, I designed, and um, this, uh, especially this uh, project took so long. I I spent two years and a half, and did presentation three times with totally different. Design, because uh, at, at that time, every six months somebody invented new technology, and the uh, government set up the new requirements. So after, after spending three four months and to present my idea, then that is that was old. That was not appropriate for the techno new technology. So I had to start from the scratch again. That's why it took so long. And at that time, there are 400, uh, 400 telephones for home use in the Japanese market. Half of them are cordless telephones. And uh, uh, Most of them are round shape, very lightweight, compact, uh, <coughs> curved body, attract to, especially to the uh, uh, women, female uh, customers. So I finally come up with this idea. The body here has grid so that uh, even after the first production, Then manufacturer has new technology to add to be added. Then instead of changing everything, they can add buttons. And uh, underneath there are two uh, two parts basically, uh, face part and the back part. The back part 
almost you don't see. So that there is、uh, enough room they can add new something instead of changing the total form. And、uh, they produced this telephone for eight, eight years, usually two years. Then they changed. So I, I'm quite happy with the result. Every pro project has、uh, an interesting story, but I, I, you know, time is limited, so I can't explain. Even with this simple N tenant sign for the office building, because of the uh, uh, grids with、uh, three millimeter grooves. You don't see any、uh, screws on the surface because there is a、uh, structure inside, and every panel、uh, <coughs> attached from the inside. And to do that, somebody has to go into the letter. So it's. <laughs> It's very, very interesting、uh, projects to look at at the site to you know, assemble. I have to go.、Um, uh, geometrical shapes like the circle, the triangle, or the square are basic forms of shape. Offering endless possibilities for design. In fact, often wonderful solutions can be found by limiting oneself to the world of geometric shapes. The joy experienced here is similar to that of solving mathematical problems. Uh, this was not designed at the beginning. I designed very flat two dimensional logo for this co company. And later on, they asked me, asked me to design、uh, their sign for the exterior of the building. And I made that logo. Into three dimensional form, like this. So, I didn't imagine to make something like this. I designed the logo just circle, square, triangle, or A I M. Flower base, bud base, but、uh, you sometimes you don't have flower to put in, so <laughs> I made it as sculpture without flower.、So. so everything designed in the limits of. Basic geometrical form. This is desktop accessories. Dual face clock for traveling. Napkin ring. Salt and pepper. This one, this one is unusual. 
its knife, round knife. Uh, Massimo Vineri in New York, designer, he, he criticized this flatware. He said, we can't eat spaghetti with this fork. <laughs> This is bottle opener. And uh, I, this is butter knife, where somebody used for letter opener. Use it for letter opener. Uh, puzzle. Uh, trophy for the hunger project. Flower for the <coughs> Tokyo port. I think my idea of the red, uh, sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, letters are also basic elements of design. Letters are not only symbols for communication, but are in themselves beautiful forms of expression with hidden possibilities as a three-dimensional object. <coughs> Poster. Newsletter cover in a series. Uh, corporate identity program for Santori. The previous logo, corporate, corporate logo, <coughs> top, and bottom is Chinese, Japanese character, which uh, express the company philosophy. And uh, new logo is in the middle. <coughs> but not by computer. I pretended to use computer, but didn't. Uh, poster jazz for jazz festival in a series. Every, every summer I designed a poster for eight or nine years. <coughs> this is a calendar for MoMA. Um, I wanted to continue this project for 10 years, uh, but I, I couldn't. But I designed this calendar for eight, eight years. Um, you know, one year, 365 days, but <coughs> As numerals, there are 622 numerals in a year because there are two digits. Every numbers are designed differently. So I designed 622 numerals differently every year 
for eight years by hand on the basis of five, mil five millimeter grid system, which is not only uh, X, Y, I mean two-dimensional, three-dimensional, five millimeter grids. So everything five millimeter by <coughs> something between the the ob objects there are two uh, five millimeters by two or three something like that. Maybe new new tray. I I think my idea of the letter as a visual object is influenced by my Japanese way of thinking. Architectural three-dimensional letters are representative of my design work. Um, I think I have more slides. Uh, early 80s, I, I started to make, make uh, letter forms as sculpture, like this. Uh, this is just one series to show today. A to Z, 26 Roman alphabet. You may know origami. We can also hold, uh, fold the letters according to the basic lines, like this. We can make moving letters. C, 
she becomes S, something like that. We, and we can use Mira to make letters, <coughs> half real, half unreal. And uh, uh, gradually, I, I was commissioned to make those letters. This is for Italian design magazine Dom's cover. And uh, for Kokuyo Corporation. And uh, 180 running shoes for Nike. <laughs> 150 for 150 years anniversary of Kajima Corporation. And uh, R sculpture for Rico Company. Uh, Parco. And uh, this is big number three sculpture for the Michael Peters group in London. Okay. okay, I'm going to read something and then finish. As you have seen, I have maintained my individuality throughout my work in the wide range of graphics, product, and environmental design. <laughs> In another words, I have continued to design with the aim of raising the cultural quality of my own life. What I can say from my experiences is that it is not enough to meet the request of the client in order to be able to enjoy design. The client's request should be taken as a chance. And at times, the designer must su suggest ideas beyond that request and try to realize these ideas. For example, the sculpture for Santori Hall was a suggestion of mine and was not listed in the client's request. So logo, and I made it as a three-dimensional form. And, uh, there. Another possibility is to, to take the initiative in suggesting projects on one's own disk, instead of passively receiving an order from the client. Over 50% over of my product designs were planned and developed on my own disk. In fact, I even looked for adequate manufacturers for these products. Trial products were developed at the cost of the manufacturer, and sales and promotion were equally divided between us. It was very enjoyable experience. The role of a designer takes on profound meaning <coughs> by approaching design not only as a means to activate industry, yielding profit for the enterprises, but as means to contribute to the improvement of cultural quality of society and lifestyle, including one's own. There is always joy involved in the feeling of satisfaction doing something meaningful. This joy is similar to that felt by doing social service or doing something to make someone happy. Design only as commercial work is work just to make a living and does not give the thrilling joy of cultural contribution through, de through design. The secret of making design enjoyable lies greatly in the designer himself. Work that is enjoyable brings also good results. Good work raises esteem 
and opens up possibilities for more interesting work. Uh, maybe if you want to design the way I do, make sure to follow the following four steps. One, cultivate your skills, of course. Two, experience another culture with a totally different language, which means experience totally different culture. So live there for at least one year. Three, master international modern design history. I believe there is no one book which is enough to understand international design history. So how? Memorize Graphics Magazine and DOMS Magazine. All the issues. Uh, Graphics Magazine, it's uh, 57, they started 1944, so 57 years, uh, six issues every year, so 342 issues, something like that. And uh, mem memorize just visually. If you start to read, you, <laughs> you can't finish. And uh, my suggestion is go to the library for four days, <laughs> uh, five days, to, to look 340 <coughs> issues. And uh, you repeat this every three months, at least three times. <laughs> and DOMS is the same thing. So that you can have enough information inside of your body, which becomes your database your own database. <coughs> Four, look at as many original works as possible. Today I show slides, but slides are not enough. Information from the internet, same thing, not enough. You must look at the actual piece. Um, I, I told you, Cameron already explained, I studied here at UCLA. Uh, that was wonderful time. I, I had wonderful teachers, as you do. Uh, Mitz, Vasa, Newhart, and um, without those teachers and also classmates, I'm not here today. Uh, after 25 years, I, I started my own career right after school. I opened my own studio in Tokyo right after my graduation from UCLA graduate school. And after 25 years practice, I felt enough. I, I worked very hard for 25 years. I got so many projects and I just felt enough. So I quit design in 1994, begin, beginning of 94, and moved here and I became full-time sculptor. And I started from the scratch again. But I knew it was very exciting. Learning something and practicing something at the same time is the most enjoyable part of our life. Uh, so before closing my talk today, 
I would like to show some of my sculptures work from last seven years without explanation. Thank you very much. So I'm I'm happy to for answer for question if you have. No question? Yes. I, yes, I'm very interested in architecture. I'm interested in photography. I'm interested in painting, sculpture, uh, even archaeology. Um, yeah, many things, but not business. <laughs> Design is not business, right? Design is service. Yes. Do you photograph your own pieces? Or do you uh, few. I always ask friend who is photographer. Yes? Um, maybe a question about the Is there a reason why you have a good response? Ah, because I... I was limited by, by myself to be in geometrical shape. And Japanese are not geometrical. Some are, yes, but. And too many, 7,000 <laughs> to compare 26, so, yes? I just want to say thank you. I think the presentation was just beautiful and inspiring. And uh, well. Thank you. It's just wonderful to see um, very mm. basic. Um, mm graphic uh, forms that were all, I mean, mm. ever since we're little, yeah. associated with things. Yes, so yes. everybody can do that, like me. It's <laughs> very simple. No, but that you expand it and give it dimension mm. and really, really show um, mm. here how, 
how far and mm. why graphic application can be mm. applied to so mm. many different forms. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm. Four or five main <laughs> elements in the mm. action. Mm. Mm. Yes. Where do you see your work going, say, in the next five, ten years in the future? Like, where, where do you plan to explore now? Ah. I, I have been trying to change myself, of course. And, uh, Right now, uh, I'm trying to make sculpture without planning because design is planning. And I did for 25 years professionally. And uh, uh, art is not planning, I believe. I, I don't, I'm not interested in conceptual art. Um, so that uh, I like more happenings, and uh, I enjoy materials, and I follow the materials. I, I like to communicate with materials, and then materials uh, tell me uh, what I should do. So, uh, so sculptures you saw is. Uh, mainly metal sculptures, some are stone, but no planning. Uh, for metal pieces, I, I uh, didn't make by myself because, because of the scale. I can't. So I make maquette uh, made of paper. And uh, I just cut paper and glue together, and that's all. And the stone, I just cut no plan, so when I feel enough, that's the end. So I think I continue this way, maybe for 10 years, 20 years, I don't know. Any question? <clears throat> okay, thank you very much.